Welcome Transformer fans, my name is Composite Energo and today's review is on the Transformers Beast Wars Mega Class Scorponok and here he is in his alt mode, well his beast mode, a scorpion uh, a very inaccurate but scorpion nonetheless but yeah, uh, apparently this is based off of a black scorpion and again, it's, it's fairly inaccurate and that's going to be the last time I mention it but yeah, here it is and I like it. I actually really like the look of the scorpion mode. Very cool looking. Mine is the weird snake-like face with um, working mouth. Well, weird looking mouth. Still looks really cool. And yeah. Um, in terms of articulation, oh, just to mention, I do like the detailing on this figure. I think it has nice, like I love the black and red color scheme. I like the detailing, even this little bit of shade red on the tip of his stinger. I really like the look of this thing. Really, really, it's really cool. Um, I don't like that the legs are just, you know, just one separate piece. And they are on hinges. And that's most of the articulation he has in Beast. Well, no, he has a lot more articulation in Beast Mode. I'll get to that in a second. And the tail here has an action feature. In fact, this figure actually comes with three action features. All of them available in his Beast Mode and his Robot Mode. But the i feel that one makes more sense i feel that the the one of his features which is the tail stinging action which is this which is when you hold the tail like so and push his lever forward as you can tell see it has a stinging action which i really like it's a really cool it's a really cool feature very nice little feature um the tail also has a little art, a little bit of a swivel there and this base here, and a hinge here, down here. And yeah, feet are also, uh, his little uh, scorpion legs here on uh, hinges. And his arms, obviously, his claws also have articulation. However, it's the same as in his beast mode, in his robot mode. Mixing up my words today. So his arms and claws are the same as in, as, have the same amount of articulation as his robot mode. So I will be showing that off in that part while in his robot mode. So yeah, and as I showed you earlier, his mouth does open and close, has separate hinges for each of these little lower jaws. So yeah, and like I said, his other two features are involved his claws, but I think they make more sense in his robot mode than in his beast mode. So I will show them off again later, along with the articulation. So yeah, very cool. So now we get to his transformation, which is... It's okay. It's not too complicated. So, first things first. Come down here. And you pop off these legs. Open them up. Open them up. And yes, his beast head does become the legs. And next up, you then fold these in. Rotate out. Rotate out. And then bring this assembly up. Like so. You fold up the robot head, have this little piece sticking out, and peg it into that center peg there. Center port, like so. And then, you wrap around his scorpion legs, bring down his arms, bring down his arms, rotate his head. And then for this part, you then rotate this assembly up, like so. You rotate it, and there is a hinge here. Hold on. There we go. There's a hinge there, which you flip it up. That have the tail completely over him. And as weird as that kind of looks, which I will show you in a second. And as weird as that looks, it does add a lot of height to him. You can see you can see but yeah that's pretty much a robot mode and i like it i actually really dig this robot mode i'm gonna lower it uh the tail stinging action is still there in his uh robot mode it's the same thing but i feel that makes more sense in his beast mode uh, not to mention i don't recall him ever doing that in the show so yeah here is scorponok in his robot mode and i really like this robot mode I really like it more more than I would have uh, more than what I more than I would have thought when I first got him. So yeah, very cool. 
and let's take a look at his head sculpt. And if you're wondering why this doesn't look very show accurate, I can explain. Because this, um, since Scorponok here is part is part of the early waves of um Beast Wars, a lot of those figures had something called mutant masks. So what we're seeing here is his mutant mask. If you open it up, if you open this up like so, you reveal a more accurate-ish. Although he's screaming in pain, apparently. This is a, a more show accurate ish looking uh, robot face, robot head. So, this would be his robot head, as you can see. However, um, for unlike most of the other figures, I actually prefer his mutant head. I think he should have had this head sculpt similar to, um, oh, and in the same way, in the same thing that happened with Waspinator, I think I prefer his uh, mutant, mutant head over his uh, actual head. And yeah. It's pretty much uh, it for that. Very cool. As you can tell, the head is on a ball joint. So it's very nice. And the actual mask bit, you can just open it up like so, is on some hinges on the back. As you can see there. Let me close it back up because, I, like I said, I actually prefer his mutant mask. And the arms I can now show off have a rotate full 360 rotation. Out that far in. Swivel there at the elbow as well as a bend. And then and both claws can rotate full 360 with the left arm opening like so, opening up and a hinge there. And I can then talk about one of his gimmicks, which unfortunately I don't have his missiles. Uh, his left claw has a missile launching action, which if you push, put, put most, both missiles in there, you can then open this up and this would fire both missiles. Very cool. And he did do this a lot on the show, which is very cool. The left arm does the same, has the same articulation with one exception, being that the claw doesn't really open up. Instead, it has a, it has a spring-loaded B. Yeah, you can probably see here, it has a little B thing. Oh, but before I get to that, let me just finish the articulation. And the legs are on ball joints. Ball joints, bend at the knee, and a little bit of toe action. And that's about it for articulation. So, I think he has pretty decent articulation. And now to his other his other gimmick, or well, his other feature, which is if you pull this little lever back, you launch a little bee, a little bee drone. Very cool. And he did use this on the show. I remember this. I remember him using this feat, this gimmick on the show. This uh feature. It was actually it's very cool that they kept it. Now I don't get why a scorpion has a has a has a bee, but I'm not really complaining. This little thing is really cool. And to fold it back up, you just do this. Close this up. And then peg it into place. Like so. And there we have the bee gimmick. The bee feature. And that's pretty much it for Scorponok. Overall, it's a nice solid figure. Let's get into a size comparison. Here we have Ratchet. And here we have Clip Jumper. And I'm not gonna lie. I think compared to other to the to, to the other mega classes, he's a bit on the smaller side, but he makes up for it for like the whole tail assembly thing. But yeah, he is a bit on the smaller side, since the mega class is basically the what is a, a modern day Voyager, more or less. So yeah, I think he's still a very nice, solid figure. So yeah, overall, nice figure, awesome figure. Yeah, I think he holds up quite well. Like I like, I love all of all like all three of his features. Um, I also love that none of them really get in the way. The transformation is nice and simple. And overall, I like the look of all the mo of like of both modes. And I said I actually do like this. In fact, I kind of wish that this is the version that we got in the show. Uh, maybe not with the tail straight up, but I uh, like that. I would have liked that maybe that folds down somehow. But I think I like the look of this version of Scorponok more so than his appearance in the show. And I did like Scorponok on the show. So yeah, overall, nice, solid figure. No complaints here. At least not too many. So yeah, uh, this has been my review of the Transformers Beast Wars Mega Class Scorponok. And before signing off, here's my special person's Instagram. Please check it out. There's mine if you're curious. There's hers, more important. And this is Composite Energo signing off. Peace out and be safe.